working with a local client in the roofing niche and I can't seem to drive the cost for acquisition down any further. And I'm kind of, I've, I've ditched the loser ads and I'm down to like one or two of the four that was originally set up about 30 days ago. And I'm at a point now I'm trying to investigate maybe putting some video in there or something for more thumb stopping action. And I just basically wanted to ask your advice of what you would do at this point. <clears throat> Can I ask you a couple of questions real quick? Please. Yeah, sure. Um, what do you know, like the basic metrics in terms of like your link click through rate, your click through rate all, and then your conversion rate? Yeah, I got, I got my uh, metrics right out in front of me here. So. All right. I mean, fire them off. Just hit me with the uh, link. So the click through rate and then the click through yeah. rate all. Yeah. Click through rate all is 85% and link is 84%. Or point eight. You mean 0. 0.85, yeah. 0. 0.84? Yeah, point. Yeah, sorry about that. I was yep. going to say 85. <laughs> yeah, 85% <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. of the people. To, <laughs> Damn. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so here is here is how, and, and every, every business, by the way, has different benchmarks. Like if I was talking to a person in the med spa niche, these numbers mm -hmm. would not apply. And so you're going to have to kind of figure out what yours are, but it's pretty, it's a pretty safe bet to fall, like to fall in line with these numbers here. A link click through rate of 1%, mm -hmm. a click through rate all of 2% or more, and then a CV of 10%. Okay. And when you say CV, what is that, Sam? Because conversion I don't see rate. that. Yeah, conversion okay. rate. Yeah, conversion rate. So I see a CR. Rate. Oh, I'm sorry. CR. Okay. CR. Jeez. Yeah. CV. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> My curriculum vital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. what did you say? That's your a 2.58. Uh, 2.58 is the CR. Okay. So here's, here's what all these metrics mean, because they're, they are telling, they are the, the fact that your, your click through rate all and your click through rate are so close means this is what these, each of these mean. Your click through rate all is indicative of how compelling your creative is. All right. The click through rate all comprises of the people who click on the image and the people who click on the links and the click and the people who click on the uh, call to action, that button, that learn more button. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want that button. Obviously that button needs to be higher or that metric needs to be higher because it's including all the clicks. So if people are only clicking your call to action, that means that they're the ad, the ad, the image, the creative is not doing very much. So you got to, you, you know, either go through uh, the Facebook ads library, search, find, and, and my hack to doing that is go with a video, 1080 by 1080 video, get a video in there. And at least that's compelling enough to show the subject matter. So if it's roofing, show people re like redoing a roof, right? Maybe do a time-lapse, get yourself a couple different videos, a couple different um, creatives to go on. Okay. How long of a video? How long? Just a few seconds, like a gif yeah, almost. I mean, this the 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 whole idea is to grab their attention. So, like, you know, 30, 40, 50 seconds doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and uh you might consider hiring uh Apex's template design um service at if you go to the, the template library, the very top right, there's a like hire us and it's like uh 99 bucks, and we'll give you a template that includes a, a, an offer image ad copy and a lead form. Okay. And uh, so that's what the click through rate all means. The click through rate, the link click through rate is indicative of how good your ad copy is and how good your offer is. All right. So the link click through rate is like, Hey, they read through, and they specifically clicked on the call to action that you gave them. They clicked on, if you have a hyperlink in the ad copy itself, or if you have the button, that is them clicking to go to the next step. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then yeah. the conversion rate is a confirmation of how good and how clear, that's a big one, your offer is. All right. So a lot of times people will offer like, oh, get a free consultation. That's not an offer. In the roofing niche, they want, because there's so much, you know, uh, there, there's so much competition, they want uh, 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 an estimate, like right? get an instant es estimate. 
right? And so however you facilitate that, there's tools and stuff to do that. That's what they want. We got free inspection. They they won't uh, they don't want to do uh, uh, estimate. They'll do an inspection. Yeah. So that's what your client says. Yeah. So that's yeah, so what we're is, running. Yeah. This is where you the the tail can't wag the dog here, right? So this is where you jump in. You say, hey, listen, we're definitely going to go for an inspection. That's the goal of the actual thing that we're going to do. However, what people really want to know, and I don't know if this is the case. I'm just spit firing. Cause my buddy did uh, is a roofing estimator. I'm like, I, I hear him say things like this. Um, you want to give them some indication because they're comparing things. They want to know. And there's softwares out there that will give that you can have people go like your thank you page, click to get your, uh, your 60 second evaluation or, or not uh, estimate, right? Mm -hmm. They go through and they do their thing. It gives them an answer. Yeah. And I have two types of offers that I've done in my own agency. One is a test drive offer. And the other one is a self-discovery offer. Okay. Now the power of a self-discovery offer, let me ask collectively the group. If you see a quiz or you see a survey on social media, which one are you more likely to choose? People who are taking a survey, the benefit of that information is for who? The survey provider. Right. People who take a quiz, the benefit of the quiz is for who? The quiz taker. Mm -hmm. So self-discovery is a compelling offer. It's a compelling call to action. And so All what right. those people want is they want a, they want to discover, they're like, I wonder how much it's going to cost to get our roof done. Dude, our roof has been dilapidated over time or whatever it is. That's what they want to know. And they want to have an idea. That, that's where it starts. Okay. Right. So go through your metrics. I would say it, it probably makes sense if you're just getting started to um, have us design something for you. But then in the meantime, jump into Facebook ads manager, TikTok ads manager, and look at the stuff that's working. I've got a video on YouTube that will show you like how to do uh, the research for Facebook ads manager. I haven't made the one for TikTok yet, uh, but TikTok is crazy because they show you the metrics, the clicks all that kind of stuff. Uh, pretty dope. So yeah, I saw that video. It's excellent. I'll, thanks for reminding me about it. I saw it a couple of weeks ago. So I'll go dig into that. You got it, man. Thanks, Barton. Appreciate the all question. All right, dude. Thank you, Mayor, very much.